You might think of a big, cold courtroom reporter when the word stenographer pops up. But as we see in this American story, one man behind a steno machine is taking his skills well beyond the halls of justice. Kind of workplace. And you can cover the tattoos and you don't feel that that would be, you know, Stanley Sakai is a young stenographer who has popularized stenography. He has captioned live events for Google, the United Nations, and also captions classes for deaf students. However, the 27-year-old didn't learn stenography from school and stumbled upon it through a bad grading class. He failed one of my programming classes and had to retake it. You know, I walked into the class, there's like a giant plasma TV on with like, you know, exactly what everybody is saying, just magically popping up. So I... I was like, how does this work? Stanley eventually discovered it was stenography, the art of transcribing speech as quickly as it is spoken. Face to face. There are some advantages though to a phone interview. He wanted to learn this and found a machine stenography app called Plover Online. So I downloaded it and I tried it out and once I started getting a couple words, you know, popping up on the screen, I was like hooked. After he found out that stenographers made six figures, Sakai gave up pharmacy for stenography. He started perfecting shorthand, a form to abbreviate spoken words. Stenographers need to be skilled at shorthand in order to be certified. It's basically simplifying all the sounds to really quick strokes, and then you have like, like letters that represent entire words. And so you'll have like the letter R, which just looks like a little curve like this, but it, it stands for like hour. Sakai soon found a steno machine on eBay to practice shorthand on. A steno machine is a corded keyboard that stenographers use by striking multiple keys to form syllables. It's a vital part of a stenographer's transcription. And I would take the steno machine to my like regular university classes and that's kind of how I got practice and how I got all those words into my dictionary and stuff. Um, so yeah, it was like, that's how I did it without going to school, basically. He passed several exams with 96% accuracy and began taking freelance work. He works with people in many contexts from courtrooms and live events to classes with deaf students. So I think that's a really important thing that we can look forward to in the future. There aren't yet any really good mobile or portable steno. Abigail Purcell, Sakai's deaf client. I mean, how is it? Like, I, I don't know if it's something I'm going to have a but Says she has been able to excel in her classes due to his captioning. If I had that, I would have been such a way better student. I know I wasn't a bad student. But I struggled and I did not, it's exhausting to be in a school all day long trying to listen. Sakai says he makes it a priority to get to know his clients <laughs> <laughs> and also remain open to new opportunities anywhere. I meet all these like really crazy, like so like out, outside of my field um, types of people that it, I love it. It just like keeps me keeps me stimulated. The Seattle native knows seven languages and American Sign Language. And works around the clock. Xenography remains a big part of his private life on top of his career. Well, I, I think a lot of people think I'm like kind of crazy a little bit because I, I have so much going on in my life all the time, but I find it fun so that's just like how I like entertain myself some people like watching Netflix for hours I like making stuff